legs on, that type of stuff. Um, you know, well, this is my partner, Connor Baxter. He's a freshman here this year. Uh, the most important thing that that I can teach you about bottom is you know, I can sit here and I can go through all these little tricks, you know, all the little techniques, but you know, bottom's an attitude. You you don't want to get ridden. If you just if you get down there and you're gonna, okay, I'm gonna hit a stand up. No, it's, I'm getting out. It's this is life or death situation. That's the attitude that you gotta instill in the wrestlers when they're on bottom. Because no matter how many little tricks and techniques, everything that we show you, unless they have the attitude that they're just not gonna get ridden, it doesn't matter if you know the correct stand up. I mean, you're gonna be put in positions where you know you're on your belly, you have to fight up off your belly, or you know they pick you up, put you back down on the mat three times, and you gotta just keep getting back up, get your hips out, whatever it is. So the attitude on bottom is the most important thing. Of just you know, it's it's a sense of urgency on bottom where you know this is a life or death situation. I gotta get out now. You know, from from the whistle on the whole time. You don't stop putting one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, ten things together to get out. You know, doing whatever it takes. So, we're just going to start with our stand up that we do here. And, uh, you know, it's not a old school, hold on, you know, it's not an old school coming here, you know, clearing the elbow. It's just straight explosion, elbows in, getting our head up, hips out. Okay, so when we do this, we explode up through our hips. We're coming up through our hips. Elbows are coming straight back, our palms come up, okay? And whichever side he's on, that, that hand goes to the hand around the waist. So I go elbows back, palms up, hand goes to the hand around the waist. Here, here, head up. Your head's gotta be up. If you're looking down, you're going down. Head up. Okay, so when I explode up, I'm not stepping up and out, I'm exploding up and I'm just lifting my foot out. So it'll look like this, quick. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going. Okay, I'm exploding through my hips and my hands and I'm just kind of, it, it kind of looks like my foot's just floating out. Here. Okay, now I'm not moving forward, I'm going back into it. Here, okay, so first, elbow straight back. Hand goes to the hand around the waist. This is a drill we do with our guys. We try to teach them how to explode up the correct way without coming up and then stepping their foot out. So we come here, we try to, we don't step out on this, we just try to get our knees off the mat. So we'll do this you know, 15, 20 times in a row. So I get it. My knees are coming up. I'm not picking my knees up. I'm exploding my knees up. You're gonna see a lot of your kids try to do this. They're gonna go, and you're like, what are you doing? Okay, it's because they're not exploding. They're trying to come back and lift their knees. We're not lifting our knees. I'm trying to shoot myself back through that wall and just picking my feet out. So I go. Okay. But once they get this down and it, and it looks like they're not lifting their knees, they're not going, then you can start having them bring their feet out. Here, okay. My elbows in, palms up, hand around the waist. I know I keep reiterating that, but it's the most important part because you don't want him to get locked around your waist once you're up around here. Now, of course, it's going to happen. He's going to get locked. But we want our elbows in. It doesn't matter if he comes over top or tries to come over top here. We're, we're good here. We just want our elbows in and his hands on the outside. So back from the start, this is a good drill for your kids just to teach them how to explode the right way. That way, they're not, not going. And I don't know if Connor's done this yet, so this would be a good little, good little lesson for him. Ready? Okay, so, where do our elbows go? Are you paying attention, Connor? What? Where, where do your elbows go? 
No elbows back, back to your hip. Good. Ready? I, I don't want you standing up. I just want you exploding up. Go. Good. Don't pick your knees up. Explode up with your hips and your and your arms. Go. Good. Go. Good. Head up. Head up. Okay. See how he's got a nice round back. You can even have his elbows bent just a little bit. Okay. His heads up. Now, a lot of people like to sit back, tuck your feet. I don't feel like you get a lot of power there. I feel like you're kind of stuck there. And some people do feel power from here. But for me, I had to tuck my toes to get my power. So he's back. He's almost sitting just a little bit below his, his heels here. Okay. So when he explodes up, he's got good power right through his hips. Go. Boom. Okay, now, step out. Okay, good, good. So, when we get to our feet, the first thing we want to do is turn our hips. Well, I want to get separation here. Come on, Connor. Okay, so I come up, I explode up. At first, I don't want to keep my feet square because he can run me right over my feet. Put me back, down, okay? It's important that you get your hips square for several reasons. I come up, okay? I want, to, I want to get this distance right here. I want to get as much space right in here as possible. So I turn my hips, okay? My head is up and my weight is down on him. I want him to feel all his weight, all my weight right through here on his hands and on his head, okay? And if I'm looking down, he feels no pressure whatsoever. So we have to have our heads up the whole time. Hips square. We don't want our hips square, we want our hips turned. Here. So what, what we try to teach a lot of kids is when they're doing it by themselves, is your head's up, back round. I explode, turn my hips, okay? We're not stepping out. We're not going here. Sometimes you're gonna have to do it, but you wanna teach them to do it right off the bat. So I explode, turn my hips. So if Connor's on me, as I explode up, I turn my hips. See, I've already got hand control. I've already got my elbows in. Okay, here. Now, let's say, let's say he gets his hands locked. That's okay. It's not what we want, but if I got my hips turned, I've already got pressure on this lock. I've already got this lock ready to be broken. Okay, I go thumbs down. Thumbs down, hips out, here. Now, with the hand that was on the waist, I hit a down block as I turn. I hit a down block, here, okay? That just prevents three shots, them dropping down. If I come here and I break his block and he tries to drop to this leg, I down block, <coughs> okay? Now, if you're having if you're having problems with kids just getting ran right over as soon as they stand up, they come up and they just get ran right back down it's because they're not getting their hips out. Because they're not turning those hips. This helps me. If, if he's driving me, I can, I can play it. I can fight back here. Okay? But if my feet are square, drive me. I'm just going to run. You know, you see a lot of kids, they hit a stand up and they get ran right out of bounds four or five times in a row. <clears throat> they do this. I hit a stand up. Back to the center. They do that four or five times in a row. <laughs> okay? It's because they're not getting their hips out. They're not, they're not creating that separation here and, and leaning back off this front foot here. Okay? And I sag down. So if he's driving me, and I got my hips out, it's gonna look like this. He's driving me. And don't, bring, don't wanna bring the lock up, everything's down. You don't wanna bring this lock up here, okay? Put down to the hip, to the hip that's out. That's where you wanna put the lock, here. All my weight is back and down, here.
Okay, so my feet are square. I'm going into the mat. Here. He drops down. I'm down blocking. Keep him from grabbing that leg. He drops down. Down blocking. Again, okay? And I keep going over these steps because it's important that we get hand control, we get our elbows back, we keep our head up, we get our hips out. I know I've said it a lot, but it's, it's important. You know, you can't, you know, you see some people try to, they're here, sometimes, yeah, they do, they do get away. But against a good guy, short time left, National final. It's going to be hard to get away from a guy when you're right here. He's just going to drop to this leg, you know, or he's going to lift and push you back. You've got to have your head up, your hips out to the hip. That's what's going to get it done, okay? So, you know, anytime that you're, your guy's getting ran over from here, it's probably because his feet are square or he's bent over, okay? It's, it's, it's almost impossible to have your hips out and be bent over and have pressure on him, okay? So our hips are out, our head's up. All my weight's down and back into him. All the, all the pressure's right here. Thumbs down, down block. Come on, let's get good, ready? Yep. Good, good. Keep, keep your head up, okay? You're kind of bent over a little bit. Anytime he's bent over, you're going to get ran over. Connor was just a little bit bent over. Pretend there's like a ball right here, and you're trying to throw it right through that wall. Okay? Oops. Better. Get your hips turned just a little more. Here. You're kind of here. I want to here. Okay? And then down block. His head's up, his back's round. Elbows are a little bit bent. Good. One more. Plant that foot. I want you moving forward. Plant, push back. Stop the all action. Nope. Better. Come here. The more you move forward, the less likely you're going you know, to get hand control. You've got to stop that motion and challenge that pressure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Left yeah. You got to stop it here. You got to. You got to challenge him driving you. Okay. You're driving me. I got. I'm pushing back into you. I'm not gonna let you run me forward. Okay. The more forwards, the more steps forward you take, the less, the less likely you are to get hand control and get out here. Okay. So he's driving me. The more I move forward, the better, the better it is for you because you run me over my body a little bit. You get me back to that bent over stage. Alright? That's a good point. We gotta push back hard, no matter how hard he's pushing. We can't let him run me over this. I can't let him run me over this lead leg out here. At any point, which comes in, my head is up, I'm back, and I got weight back. Okay? So if he's running me, I gotta fight it hard. I gotta get this weight back into him. Here, I get hand control, and, and I put it to my back hip pocket, my far side, here. As soon as I get that hand control, I'm putting it to the far side. Getting ready for my down block with the other hand. This hand's gonna down block. So if he's running me, he's running me. You know, just chain wrestling off your I'll do escape. One more time. Okay? I want you to keep pressure. I don't want you to go very far forward. No more than, you know, here. Okay? All the way to back. Remember, trying to throw something off to that little hole right there, all the way through that wall. Okay. Alright? Go. Better. Better. Now, see how his hips kind of came up? Come on. You don't want your hips up. Here. His hips kind of came up a little bit. They kind of went towards the ceiling. I want my hips down and back. Down and back. Here, pressure's back into him. I don't want my hips up, okay? He's 
just going to pull me back down here. And to do that, his feet went square. He went here. He was good. He was good. He went to get out. His hips, his feet went square, and his hips went to the mat or to the ceiling. Here. Okay. So one more time. Again, go. Keep your hips turned. You want all the weight back into me and down. Okay. Go. Better. Better. One more time. That's better. That's better. Your hips are still a little almost square. You're right, right here. I want here. Down. You're going up. Okay? Say down. All the, all the weight should be right through here to this back leg. If you got hand control, there. Feel all, all the weight went to my hands. Yeah. That's where you want it. All the weight to, to my hands on this hip. Okay, one more time. You gotta do it right before you quit. Okay? Once again, he's got a good round back. He's got his elbows bent. He's ready to explode. He's got he got lots of power here. Okay, this is a powerful stance. That's what we want. We want him to explode out, and, and I don't know if you guys heard me, but I keep telling him there's like a ball, or whatever you want to say, right here, right at the back of his neck, in between his shoulder blades. And I tell kids to try to throw that ball completely through that wall, or whatever's behind him. You know, that'll create the power and the motion you want for him not to do this. Okay? And that's important, because there's no power here when you're going and trying to lift your knees off the mat. You explode, and, I, and your explosion lifts you off the mat. Okay? I'm trying to throw that right through that wall. We actually do a good drill. We have those, those bags down there, and I'll take it, and I'll put it on Connor's back, and I'll lay it right here. And I'll tell him, I'll say, throw it as far as you can. And I'll just stand back here. Ready? Go. And I'll catch it, and I'll put it back on there. Me, uh, Coleman Scott actually taught me this. Me and him did this. Would have been his junior year. We did it every summer on. We would do this every day. We would do it 50, 60, 75 times a day to work on our stand up. I just put a bag right there. One of those soup play bags that you can go do all the stuff with, all the lifts. Put it right there on, the, on his shoulders. Okay? And he would just throw it back as far as he can every time. Boom, I catch it, okay? That's how I learned my explosion in my stand-up. And that's why I keep trying to tell him, pretend there's something right here, and you're trying to throw it right through that wall. Because that's, that's how you learn to not pick your knees, okay? You got no power trying to lift your knees off the mat. All your power is gonna go as you explode off the mat. So, last time, it's gotta be right. Ready? Go. Better, better. Okay. So, you guys haven't done low level bottom stuff. Have you guys done any bottom stuff at all? No. Okay. So, you guys know switches, you know, pretty well. Those are pretty self explanatory. I'll go over those real quick. But, you know, for me, I knew on bottom I had to get my hips out. Okay, I had to get my hips out. And whether it meant I hit a stand up or I hit a switch, I just had to get my hips out. I had to get right here, okay? And I never sat square on my butt. I never sat square. Just like in my stand up, I've always got my hips turned, okay? So from here, you know, I can roll, I can get hand control, get pipes out. But I, ne I never want to just sit square here when I get my hips out. Because I got no power, I'm planted, all my weight's right through my hips. You know, it's hard, it's hard to move from this position. It's easy to move from here. I can drop back. Hip high out. You know, I can keep, I can roll, come out, whatever it is. But I've, I've always felt that a big key is from bottom, if you're not hitting a stand up, you're getting your hips out from underneath your opponent. So whether that means you're hitting a switch, 
And on our switch, most important key, and we've been taught this since we were little, but we seem to forget it and we, and we don't teach it right, is getting this hand as far as possible as I can. I want to try to punch that guy in the face right there from here. That's how far I want to get my hand. Okay, this is going to get us nowhere. This is going to get us nowhere. This gets our hips out and gets us somewhere. Okay? Getting this hand as far as I can get it is what I, is, is what I need to focus on for my first step of this switch. Okay? And I, I know most of you are thinking, I know a switch. Well, if you taught a switch, you'd probably say, yeah, get your hand far, but you're only putting your hand right here, and your kids are going to go like this. I, I've tried to teach this a hundred times. If you don't exaggerate this, if you don't put an X out there and say hit it every time, they're not going to do it. Okay, so th this is very important to get your hips out, is this arm. Okay, so I'm shooting it as far as I can. I don't, I don't even set a limit. I just try to get it as far out there as I can. So I, now... I want to get to this hip, okay? I don't want to fall to this hip this way. I want to get all the way through. So here, now my hips are going to come full circle, full circle to that far side. Are there any drills that you guys do to, to teach that? Because that's the hardest thing is to get to that hip and not go straight to the table. Yeah. Um, the thing I found that's most successful is just to have them do it by themselves and break it down into steps. So I'm like, step one, we're going to shoot our arm as far as we can go. We're going to do it, you know, 10, 20, 100 times. Just pound it in their head. I did that so many times, okay? So now, I'm gonna, how I'm going to teach them to get to their hips is I show them a little. I, should, like, I, I do this with our kids club. I show them how to rotate their hips. So I'll have them come to their feet and I'll have them go like this. I call it break dance drills. And they think they're break dancing. Hip rise. Teaching them to move their hips. Teaching them to loosen their hips up a little. Okay? We do this. I coach the kids club here and we do this before practice, you know, almost every day. We, uh, they get in their stance, they get in their stance in motion, then go to their hands, come back up. You know, I'll even throw this in here. Let them, you know, think they're dancing. That'll teach them how to roll across their shoulders when they're hitting their grambies. So that'll loosen their hips up a little bit. So after they get their hand far, I try to teach them, I say, I say, I say, you're going to pee on a fire hydrant here, okay, pee, kick through, and I say, I'm in my crab walk position, and in my crab walk position, I never hit my butt, I never touch my butt, and then I get to the far hip, that's the way, that's the way I found is most effective, is pee on the fire hydrant, sit to your crab walk, get to your far hip. Okay? And, I, and I tell them which hip it is. I say, get to your right hip. Because if you say far hip, they're going to think, well, this is my near hip. Okay? But really, it's not. This would be your near hip to sit to. So I say, sit to your right hip. I go, I don't want you in the middle of your butt. I want you on. And I actually point it out. I'm like, feel this little bone right here? This is where I want you. Here on the fire hydrant, sit to your crab, far hip, okay? That's the way I found that works the best for me. And you know, Coach Smith or someone else might have something else, but when I'm teaching, I coached the novice kids last year, and that's how I taught it, and they picked it up quick, and I break it into steps. So I'm like, I'm like, all right, you know, because I was dealing with a bunch of four-year-olds, so I said, Tim, there's a bug out here. And I, and I actually pointed to a spot. I'm like, you don't leave that spot. I was like, you, you start here, and I want you to squash that bug right there. And I say, step one, squash the bug. Step two, pee on the fire hydrant. Step three, get to your crab. Step four, to your hip. 
and then, I, and then we kept going. So, quickly, here, through, now, hand controls, really important, I know you guys know this, but I want, I want to be off my butt, and I want, I want, I want, to, I want his hand down, I want to take it down, because I want to try to break the shoulder, I want all that pressure, I don't, I want him to quit, I want him to just let me have it here, okay? I get my hips off the mat. Come around. One time, Baxter. Don't do it wrong. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. Ah. <laughs> what did you do wrong? <laughs> ready? First step. All right, Connor. First step. You ready? Squash the bug. Okay. Squash the bug. Okay. Good. Good. One more time. drill you can do here and you've seen it probably a hundred times but it just teaches your kids to wrestle teaches them to that just because the guy's got the switch doesn't mean I give up if we just go back and forth here he's gonna re-switch me he's gonna come back okay and a lot of times you'll end up with a leg in or whatever but sometimes you go back and forth like this he switches me keep your kids wrestling uh, you know, I don't know if someone talked to you about that, but that's important. Just constant wrestling. Don't stop. Don't worry about making mistakes. Just keep scrambling. Keep going. Keep shooting. You know? Okay, so let's cover with, you know, we switch, he gets a leg in. Okay? And I, and come on. I go to hit a switch, he throws a leg in. Okay? We're here. See, a lot of people end up back here. Okay, I didn't get my hips out. Whatever the case was, he he got a leg on. Okay, so now if he's got one leg on here, I want to get that hip, my right hip, my right hip bone. I want to put it to the mat. I want to straighten my leg, and I want to put my hip to the mat. Okay, so if he's off me, it's going to look like this. Okay. And I can even push off his leg. Now I'm scooting forward. Now I'm scooting forward. And I'm crawling. And then I can get back to my base once my leg is out. So if he's got a leg on. I put it in now. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And we're here. Get a little bit higher up and get harder. Okay. So I'm here. The worst thing you want you to do, you, you want your kid to do, is just to brace and try to fight it. You know, you see a lot of kids going. You know, that's not what you want. You want to get this hip to the mat, straighten your leg. You can block off this knee, this thigh. And I slide my hip forward. And I slide until I can build my base back up. So you see, he's got me. Even if he has a, a power half on, it doesn't matter. Okay, I get my hip down. I look away from it, I post, and I slide, and I slide up, and I keep sliding until I'm out. Now I can build my base. All right, start over. One more time. Okay, he's got me flat. Turn this way. Okay. I want my hip down. My hip down. Look it away. Pose. Pose. Slide. Slide on my hip. Then I can build my base. Okay. Now, two legs on. Say he's got two legs on. Something we always yell is the first thing you want to do is you want to get two legs over one. I want to get both my legs over one of his. I want to get out from here. Okay, so I pick a side. For me, it's gonna be my left side because I feel like it's, I got a good hook on his leg here. Okay, and I just throw my hips over. Okay, so now, as you can, as you can see, I got two legs over top of his, his one here. See this? 
If I'm flat, I got two legs over top of his one. All right, that's where we want to get. He's got both legs in, two legs over one. And it's going to be a fight. We're going to have kids say, I can't do it. I can't get it. And they're kicking. It is tough. It's not easy. There's nothing easy about getting off bottom. There's no little easy way to hit a stand up or to get your hips out. Everything on bottom is going to be a fight. It's going to be a battle. And it's whoever keeps wrestling and doesn't stop is going to win. So here, I'm not going to quit until I get two over one. Okay? Kick it. Oh, I got two over one. And the first thing I do, once I get two over one, is I bring my knees to my chest. Here. Okay? So, from this position, this is where we're going to really start covering stuff. Okay, so one quick thing again. He's got both legs in. I get two over one. Okay? I want my two legs over his one. Or, or the other side. Whichever side, doesn't matter. Okay? And the first thing I do is I push back and bring my knees to my chest. Okay? Now, the most important key to not getting pulled back, you see a lot of kids, they do this and they'll lock around here and they'll get pulled straight back. Here, right? You guys see this a lot? Okay? It's keeping your chest to the mat the whole time. My chest has to be to the mat. When I, pull, when I bring my knees, come on, get on top of me. When I bring my knees to my chest, my chest tries to stay glued to the mat as much as possible. See how low my chest is? Okay, all my weight's forward. If I, as soon as I transfer my weight back, he can pull me back here, okay? So my chest has to be to the mat. I have to be, I want to keep this hand, and I want to pull it here. I want to fight to keep my chest down, okay? I don't care what he's doing. I don't care if he locks. I don't care if he holds his own foot right now. I just want to get here with my chest low, okay? Now, there's a couple things you can do from here. If he's got his foot locked here, okay, I can post the far knee, okay? Now, my head goes down and my butt goes up. I know you don't teach that in basically anything you do in wrestling, but this is an exception because the whole goal here is to get my butt out of this little window. Turn. I want to get it out of this little window right here, okay? Once my butt's out, I'm good to go. So he's got this foot locked around. He's, he's got it tight around my waist, okay? So I post. My head goes down, my butt goes up and out. Here. Now, same key is keeping my chest slow. As soon as I bring my chest up, he's gonna come back and I'm here. Okay, so my chest has to stay low. So I'm here, okay, I post. I post and I pop my hips out. Now, my chest is low, and you know, you could battle here for a while. You get stuck here, but you just keep inching your way out. Get that foot out. Keep inching. It doesn't matter if he comes with the underhook here, or he goes to the head, just keep battling. Get those hips out. Get that chest low. Inch him back. Okay, so I'm here. He's got the legs in. <laughs> The most important key from here is getting two over one. Now, my knees go to my chest, but my chest stays to the mat. Here. Okay? And don't teach your kids to try to oh, start playing with his foot. Because all I'm doing is making this tighter. Okay, if anything, I want to push it away. I want to get it down here. You know, this is way easier to get out of than up here. Okay? So quickly, I post. I post, my butt goes out that hole, my head and my chest stay low and down to the mat. Head and chest low down to the mat. Here. And I just inch my way back. I just keep inching my way back. Doesn't matter. If, if we get here and he makes one last effort to go, it's okay. I just keep my chest low. Keep my hips back. Hip pipes out. Now, are you circling your hips down towards the mat when you're inching yes, out? I'm, I'm, once I get my hips out here, okay, and I'm out, I start coming back to my hip pies, teeing out. You want to get your hips. Once your feet are out, 
you can slowly start getting back here. But I want to keep my chest and my weight on him the whole time. As soon as I bring my chest off, that's when he can roll me through. That's when he can scramble and get out. You know, and you're going to catch a lot of people on their back here. You score a lot of back points off the takedown of their back or off reversals to their back. You get a lot of pins like that off of reversals to their back. Okay? So, same position. Let's say he's got both legs on. Okay, we get we get here, I get two over one, and he doesn't get this lock. And, and, and we end up right here, almost like in a crab position. Okay? Same principle. I want to get two over one. I want to get both my feet over one of his foot. Okay? Here. Here. I'm in the same. My chest is low. I don't want my chest back. I don't want to get pulled back. Here. Okay? I want my chest low. Okay? Now, I'm going to grab the top of his foot right here, just like this. And I'm going to straighten my bottom leg. For me, it's my left leg here. Now it feels like his ankle and his knee is about to break. You feel that, Baxter? Yeah. Does that hurt? A little bit. Do I need to do more? No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I straighten that leg. Okay. I straighten. Same thing. I'm going to take this hand, post on his knee, post him right there on his knee, and I'm going to get my hips out. And I switch hips. Okay. I get from my left hip to my right hip here. So I hook, straighten, pop, hips out. Hips out here. Okay. Now it's going to be kind of a scramble. You want to post. And I want to push back into him. And I want to put all my weight back into him here. Okay. So if he turns, tries to scramble out, I'm here. You, know, you, you might catch a hand turk, whatever it might be. We'll start right here. Face this way. Okay. So. Right here. Anytime I'm in this little crab position, looks like you're driving the go kart, whatever it is. If he's behind me, I want to get to one side. I want to crash to one side. Boom. Here. Here. Okay. And I want to get two over one. So here, same thing. Two feet over <coughs> one. And I crash. I keep my chest low. I hook his foot. I straighten. Straighten. Now I pop and get my hips up. It's a quick motion, okay? Because all your weight's here, you take your base weight, you're going to start falling. So it's here. And I get to that far hip. And I post, and I keep my hips down and back into it. I keep him from trying to lock underneath and scramble here, okay? And I do that, there go. I keep my hips back and down, and I post. And I just keep inching back into it. You can have a hook, come back across, or you can get a hand turk from there also. Okay, same thing. We're here. He's trying to suck me back. And you might get here. Some kid might pull your kid back off the whistle. Okay, we might be here. And he might just try to lock and pull him back. You've probably seen Chris Perry do it. He locks over the shoulder. Yeah, and he, he just pulls him straight back. He tries to throw a leg in. Have him crash. Get tight. Keep everything tight. Elbows in. Okay? We end up in the same position, except I've already got my hips out. I just post. Okay? So you might see it from there also. But once you're here, once you're in this position, it's important that you crash to a side and you get your chest low. And I see, I just instantly got two over one. It's because it's it's repetition. Anytime you're here, it doesn't matter which side you do, the same thing. fighting to get two legs over this one. I'm fighting hard. I do not want my chest big here because I will get pulled back. Here. Chest low. Two over one. Straighten. Straighten. Post. Back in. Back in. Okay, you want a hand turk? You can go here. Okay, then you can step over. You can go regular turk. You can get a hand turk here, okay? Reach back. There's lots of things. You just gotta prepare your kid to be able to wrestle once they get their hips out here. Once I get my hips out, it's gonna be a battle.
gonna be a battle here. It's gonna be a battle. We might end up here. He, may, he might get a lock. Whatever it is. Are you switching your hips that way just to keep pressure into him? Yeah, because mat. if I keep this same hip down, once I get out, I'm here. Come on, Baxter. And I get my hips out, and I stay to this side. Okay, he can just crash me here. He can just crash me. I'm back. I gotta get my to my far hip to get separation from his hips. Okay, to where I can keep weight back into him here. Now, and I can battle back into him. Try it. Yeah. I don't even know if you've covered this, have you? Uh -uh. Good. Get to learn. Okay, so I got him here. What's the first thing you do? Do it Nope. I'm going to pull you right back. Oh. Okay. Oh. Here. Hard. It's got to be hard. you got to go chest down. Boom. <clears throat> Post. Off your elbow. You, you don't want to be on your elbow here. Anytime you're on your elbow, I'm just going to crash you over it. Okay. you got to get forward here. Okay. That's the position you want. You want to grab the top of the shoe. Good. Okay. Now straighten that bottom leg. Yeah. Okay. Now, we we'll reach back and pop and get you get to the tip. Okay. Now it's a battle here. I'm gonna try to pull you back. You're okay. You're okay here. Keep wrestling. Good. One more time. Gary. Okay. So, quickly, two over one. Crash to the side. Good. Chest down. Get your chest down. Get your arm out here. Good. Straighten that leg. Good. Be ready. Be ready for anything. Good. Good job, Baxter. All right, we got just got a couple minutes left. Is there anything specific you guys want to see on bottom, or something that you would like to get your thoughts? There's a there's a switch variation where you, instead of sitting to your butt, you just throw your hips all the way through to the bar. Again. How do you feel about that? Here? Yeah. Over? Yeah, I mean. It's like more of a, you're throwing your hips out, you're sitting to the far hip. It's, it change over? Yeah. Yeah. So, the, I mean, that's all good, and, and there's not necessarily anything wrong with it. But if you're not clearing this arm on your changeover, and you just change over and you leave this arm, I'm just going to run you right over this. Right. And then I'm going to try to break your arm. I'm going to go here. You know? That, I mean, that, that's what I'm going to do. If someone doesn't get there, if they don't get this arm cleared and their hips out, I'm going to run them over and I'm going to try to break their arm off. We've been pretty good at clearing the arm for the kids that use it, but when they sit to the far hips, they're almost low, and it's like the guy can just... You know, okay, so they're almost... Sit. Sit. They're almost here? No, they're not tight. They're throwing their hips completely out of there. Okay. And they, they, are they getting sucked back? No, they're just kind of... They cross arm, uh -huh. then when, when they open up, they throw their hips completely out and land to this elbow, and it's like they're almost laying down on those elbows. Okay, so so they're going here. Cross going. arm, step. Here? Kind of. Almost? It's like they'll cross arm, step, and okay. they're yeah. way out here, but if the guy's up there, yeah. you know, there's a little bit of exposure there. Yeah. So. And, and are you having problems with that? or? Well, it's just some of the kids... I don't, they probably just need to work on their scrambling, but they're they're laying there, and sometimes the guys just jump on top. The of bottom them, guy, so the top guy. Okay, you have a problem. Remember how I was laying down? Yeah. Well, it, if they don't get out of there quick enough, they okay. just get covered. So well, I was just I mean, gonna get your thoughts on that technique. If you, well, you know, it's just like anything else on top that I always teach is I want to put weight on their hands, or I want their hips underneath me. Okay. So if he goes long like that. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to put weight on his hands. I'm going to run my feet and put weight on his hands. Because if I try to sit back here, he's just going to get long, and he's going to hip pipes out. So that's just a good principle that I've, that I've felt and I've developed in college was I'm either putting weight on their hands or I'm pulling their hips under. Okay, because at any point, he can't do anything if I got weight on his hands or I got his hips under. Okay, so if he hits a long switch, he gets a long switch. I'm waiting for my hands. I'm getting. I'm running my feet back on him. Okay. And yeah, you gotta be worried about rolls, but you know that just comes with wrestling. Just.
constant wrestling. Good question. Anybody else? You guys have a set defense you work, like if a guy's working a chop breakdown from top okay. and if, get flattened out to an elbow. Chop on me, there's a couple things I can do. We call it a slap belly stand up, and I'm going to slap and I'm going to try to tag him right in between the legs, hard. And I come straight up my body, okay? So I go here, and I get, and I get my hand out so I can get my hips out, okay? And I get hand control. Or, he goes to chop, and let's say he's on this side, I'm gonna brace hard, here, okay? Brace, knee slide, and then come out. We, we do teach, you know, he, he's got a good chop, we might get long, and, and this is something that you gotta work on before you just have your kids do it. We might get long so we can get our hips out quick and hit a switch, so we can go quick before he chops. Because if, if, if he's got me extended, if, if he's long here, it's hard for me to get a good chop into it. Okay, so he gets all the way out here, like this. Okay, and then he just goes long switch, boom, quick. Okay, so we brace, slap belly, tag him in between the legs, straight up, keep everything tight, here. And then long Get long, switch. If they got, if if for some reason, I mean, you're broke down on an elbow okay. the, and they're the flat now. The important key is if they got a wrist or they got an elbow or whatever, you get your elbow high. Your elbow's got to go here, okay? It's impossible for him to chop. Put my elbow's here, or I mean, to run me over it. And then I just keep fighting. Keep my elbow high, okay? So if Connor's chopping me, I need to get his wrist, I gotta get my elbow high. It's the most important. I gotta start fighting hands. Keep my elbow high. Keep my hands up. That's a good question. Anybody else? Real quick before you guys go downstairs. On your switch, or do you always show him going around and get it on top, or do you go for? Can you also go to the ankles or? Yeah, over to you can go low. I get here. Okay. Sometimes you're gonna have to fight here. You know, shelf it, get to your takedown, or. You know, and that just, that, that's really going to be solved by putting your kids in those positions and have them wrestle. You know, I put Connor here into a switch, switch, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're going to start wrestling here. Okay, that's where you're going to get into a lot of your scrambles. And uh, kids are going to teach themselves how to finish when they get here. If they can't just go around, you know, they're going to have to drive through me. They're going to have to finish here. You know, that's probably what it's going to be like. Is there a question over here? Uh, off, off the top guy spiral, he has to change over from there. Oh, uh, he's spiraling? Yeah. Okay. Okay, he's going to hit a hard spiral. And a good spiral, they're going to have all the weight on my hands and my, all the weight forward, okay? Because if he puts his weight, if he, if he hits a spiral and sags back, I'm just going to stand up. Okay, so I'm going to change over to my far hip. He hits a spiral, okay? Now here, I want to get to this hip, okay? Just like my switch here. Now, you see a lot of people, they start fighting this hand right here, okay? Don't worry about the hand. You can fight it if you want, but I want to get my hips out. I want it down. I want it down. Here, I knee slide. I change, and I knee slide. Get my hips out, away from him, okay? So I change over. Change over, for him. knee slide. I'm here. I don't care if he's got this now. Okay, I'm up. I can get out here. I can fight my hands out here. I just want to change over to that far hip and knee slide the same leg that my hip's on. My right hip, I knee slide. That knee out. All right, we're going to head downstairs with uh, Gary Calcano.